Well, the Royals are about to discover where they stack up when it comes to fans' disposable income. And I'm talking about entertainment dollars here, folks, and how you choose to spend that money. And I'm really curious to see how this team draws on the upcoming homestand. There's no reason the Royals shouldn't attract at least 85 to 90,000 this week. I know it's Seattle, doesn't matter. 30,000 should want to come out and see an exciting brand of baseball, right? Then the Dodgers come in here with Grinky and Kershaw pitching next week, and they should get big numbers as well. The Royals have won 15 of their last 20 games. There are no more excuses why not to go to the ballpark. You can't blame it on the weather or that stupid premium pricing, which amounts to ticket gouging, but I'm going to leave that one alone for the time being. I'm taking the high road here on this one. The Royals deserve a reprieve from all the recent bashing, and, and I'm not making excuses for them, folks. I'm reluctantly tempering my comments on management. I've even forced myself to tolerate howdy duty in the TV booth, but I do keep the mute button nearby. We haven't watched this caliber of baseball around here for 20 years, and I still have concerns about the Royals' ability to hit on a consistent basis, but this pitching staff will keep the team in it. It's okay to be a little giddy. We don't know how long this thing is going to last. I know this. We have hope now, and I didn't believe that was even remotely possible only three weeks ago. That's Jack Smack.